Hey, this is Matt Bradley Shergi. We are doing some Monkey Island stuff right here. Gonna do some more Return of Monkey Island. Okay, we got the stream live. Here we go. Hi, Matt Bradley Shergi. We're taking a look here at Return of Monkey Island. Been playing it all week since it came out this Friday. One of my favorite game series. I'm trying to limit how much I use the in-game hint guide. Uh, for those that are um, I, so I don't know the ending of the games, like don't spoil stuff like that. But um, I w might spoil stuff from other older games in the series. As where we are here in the storyline, uh, Guybrush is disguised as a, a zombie, and um, he's trying to get to Monkey Island, and he's trying to convince uh, different crew members to uh, go by a plan of his to steal some ingredients to make a potion that'll zoom him over to Monkey Island. So there we go. If the sound levels are cool, you can say stuff. And I, uh, if you want to chat and like what you see, you know, just uh, be sure to follow me on Twitch and all that stuff. And I also have a movie podcast, SequelCast 2. Check that out, SequelCast2.com. So if we look here, there's a useful in-game uh, to-do list, but there's also a hint guide. So I, I'm glad I had this experience because I haven't had it with a game like this in a while, but I spent 30 minutes trying to solve this puzzle I couldn't figure out. And I do want to progress in the story and stuff, so I, I'm going to hint, a peek at the hint book to see this is the second time I've had to do it so far in just two parts of the games. I've probably been keeping that to a minimum. I think mostly the puzzles are, are logical here. And, um, you know, once we uh, look at the solution and, and stuff, I'll explain why I was uh, stuck on it. Sometimes you have to sort of think in adventure game logic. I haven't played one of these. It's it's a while, but I was uh, playing this and chatting with uh, one of my um, fans on here, and they were saying they were giving little hints and, and doing a good job of you know not spoiling the puzzle. But it reminded me of when I would play these games as a kid, and you might spend not just like thirty minutes, uh, which tells you how impatient I am as I get older. But you know, you might spend a week, a month, you know, stuck in a puzzle, going around trying every item and every person, picking up everything. So we're gonna see what's going on here um so flambe once they baked alaska we got that from the chef we need something hot it is uh here this glowy thing is is hotter to light the can and another stuff but it's uh he can't quite do it for whatever reason um so what is the solution and this is just also a good demo of the hint guide right so i'm not really sure i want to open this up how do i convince the crew to sail to monkey island and uh, this is a, a dynamic system that knows where you are in the game, where you're stuck. How do I get Flambe's vote? In fact, I was about to do it, and the um, the uh, the viewer that was watching this morning said, Hints already? Really? And then he proceeded to watch me get stuck in the puzzle for 30 minutes. So I'm going to show this as a demonstration of something, but I am trying to keep this to a, a minimum at the same time. I, I, do, uh, I would like to do videos about talking about the ending and stuff. I don't know what the ending is, but... Um, there's a lot of chatter and I'm um, doing some reactions after that I think will be fun down at the line so uh, Flambe's vote and it's a tiered system right he says the Scorch Alaska is too bland how can you make it hot enough I need another hint hot poker to the ton and you know I was thinking there was like a spice thing in the kitchen but it's empty and was trying it was hung up on the kitchen stuff if you put something hot in the Scorched Alaska, it would satisfy Flambe. And I was stuck on this, you know, I couldn't figure it out. Search the top deck for something hot you could put in the Scorched Alaska. Still don't have it. A red hot stick. I mean, this is, they're really going far with the tears on this, which is good. A red hot stick adding to the Scorched Alaska. When you do it, that doesn't work. Use the knife to cut off a piece of the hot stick. Okay. So that's a, a tiered system right there. And if we go here and look, um, it, what got me really stuck on that is this knife is a solution so far to maybe three or four puzzles in the game. And I kind of have a, a, I don't know if it's a good point of view, but I tend to think, oh, maybe an item should only be used once for a puzzle. And this knife is really used as, I think, kind of a crutch in the way. And uh, to be fair, when they introduced the knife in the game, there was a big speech about all the different things the knife can do. So... Um, but by myself, I was not able to come up with using the knife with this, cutting off the tip. And now I can use this to make a still red hot to keep in my pocket. and increase the a scorchy, scorchy Alaska, right? 
I also was thinking hot, they meant like spicy. Hot can have two meanings, but anyway, shows you my kind of way of thinking. I bet you that puzzle was obvious to a lot of people, and uh, on the other hand, I probably got stuff right that other people didn't. So now he has his Alaska. Shades of my shady and poisonous childhood. <laughs> it's a good turn of phrase. Sweet poisonous shades, and he looks really pleased. Like lost love. Well, that French piece. accent is very good. It's like Pepe Le Pew sort of stuff. I, um, well, much respect, Swabi. I am in your debt. I hate being in debt, so uh, let's just say I'll vote your way next time we talk about that uh, plan of yours. The one with the monkeys. So I like that he's kind of beleaguered and, and huffing and puffing and stuff. So I will borrow the book. Reading this. Can I borrow it? Sure. I'll let you have it for the rest of the day. Thanks. And it was a kind of a supernatural joke book. Uh, we have Bob wanted something to be entertained by. I tried giving him a brochure and some of these things and was going through some of those options this morning. Um, it's Flambe's Underworld Joke Book. All jokes about demons and Stuff. Wouldn't that be cool if they made that a real book and it's just, um, you know, like what the character is reading in the game? Hey, Bob, I've got a great book for you. Hey, this looks promising. Thanks. I owe you one. Can I count on your vote to go to Monkey Island? Sure, no problem. I think I've so, got everyone's support now. Time to call for another vote. So now he's going to ask for a re vote because everyone voted against him. And uh, if we look, it has to be a unanimous vote. And we look in the do list, as they said, I got the support from all the different um, ghost pirates on the ship. Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? Go ring the bell yourself. Say so you gotta ring the vote uh, twice. Or ring the, not ring the vote, ring the bell twice. One bell, voting hour! Yep. And that's kind of the cue. Is to order. Are there any to be voted on? A lot of formality here for a zombie ship. I hope you're happy, Grandma. Everybody, hmm. get ready. We'll follow the other ship as soon as she gets underway. Yes. So on this other ship is these ingredients you need to put in the Nobody cauldron. Not right away. So the wraparound story with uh, Guybrush and uh, his son, I believe, called Boybrush. But as he just mentioned, and I just talked over, we can look in the to-do list. He still needs to get uh, send Murray over to the captain and steal the Chuck's secret of Monkey Island map. I mean, that's a good bit of um, stuff in the background there, right? You hear Apple Bob is laughing. He wasn't doing that as a thing in the background before, and he's doing it now because you gave him a joke book. I don't know if they still make joke books. Uh, they, they used to be things you'd see in, um, in people's bathrooms or in hotels, maybe. Or if you're renting, like, a beach house, they might be in there, like, a big thousand-page thing with, like, every old uh, kind of cheesy joke or sometimes dirty joke uh, you could think of. Gonna load Murray in the cannon, and uh, I only know I just need that solution because it was in one of the trailers. It's Murray the Talking Skull, introduced in the third game. It's a nice audio effect there as he's talking, and now we're gonna light the cannon. Ooh, okay. So you want... Mentions he needs uh, LeChuck's map is Monkey Island, and he wants that for himself. Which is fair enough. Monkey Island has a... Uh, maybe it had like a maze in it or something. What? Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby. Hmm... So I think he seemed annoyed when I rang the bell before. Maybe I'll try that again. 
He doesn't like to be distracted. Got a compliment. I think this part of the ship's design is really cool. We see LeChuck's uh, skull thing here in this uh, area. It looks like there should be a room there, but there isn't. But there is a trivia card. Yay! Trivia cards you can do throughout the game. Achievements related to getting ones right. If you get it wrong, you just get one shot. Um, no, I don't want to do the hint guide that was the wrong one. It was the, uh, the one next to it, the trivia book. Those should have been put in different places. Production for Monkey Island 2 happened at a building, Skywalker Ranch, ILM Lucasfilm North. I mean, yeah, this is behind the scenes sort of stuff. I mean, it happened in a in a building. I was reading some interviews about this. Um, I think it actually was a building. I don't think it was in... Lucasfilm or ILM or Skywalker proper. I think they just rented a small building for their game division because it was so small at the time. Yeah, got it right. Cool. So if we look through here, we can see... Da, 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 da. You know, there's 100 cards all together. Um, but if you get one wrong, like it disappears. You can't see it with an X on it or something, or you can't redo the question. But I've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've had six, uh, seven questions right so far. And if we look at, at the uh, achievements on, on one of the menus, it'll say, well, I have to go back to the main menu. I'm not doing that. But there's there's achievements that uh, suffice to say, oh, got 10 questions, you know, 20 questions right, whatever, the trivia cards. So we need to figure out what to do to get um, the map from LeChuck. Myself wasn't quite ready yet because I still needed to steal LeChuck's map. Yep. Oh, yeah. The how's old Murray doing? The skull. You uh, okay in there, Murray? When I get out of here, I'm going to do both your and use your finger to pick my teeth. Murray is just one of those simple ideas. It's kind of genius, right? Because it's just a skull that's mad and he wants to take over the world, kind of like a pinky in the brain thing, but he can't move because he's a skull. And yet he appears all over uh, different areas in, in the games. He only started in the third game, but he appeared in every game uh, since then, I believe. So some more places than others. Ah. So let's go into the ship. See, I wonder what we can do as a hint. So I'm stuck here. Let's do a little hint. Let's use it just barely, because I want to get to Act Three. I'm being a bit greedy, but it's also in the game too. And I don't know my theme comes like about this. I've always had to use walkthroughs with adventure games. Yeah, I don't. I think the only one I've ever beaten without a hint guide was um, like the like the Troll's Treasure or something. It was like the first game Al Lowe uh, programmed all by himself in Sierra. I think eventually published it. Uh, it was originally self-released and it was like a, one of those old scavenger hunt, like find 20 item things um, done for a younger audience. And my grandma had it in her old Apple II. Have to distract LeChuck. Can summon him. Okay. What does it say? Ring the bell twice. Shit. I didn't mean to click that many times. I ran it before uh, three times, and I ran it once to do a meeting, but twice to distract him. And I think there's a line of dialogue kind of early on in this uh, act, or, or part two of the game, excuse me, um, where they mentioned these things. Like one, one means this, two means this. One... That time again already? Nice. Well, let's get to it. Eyes front, you disgusting heaps of festering stuff. And he's screaming at his crew. Why is the ship's cauldron still empty? I distinctly ordered That's a right. mystical voodoo potion. He's not happy. If the ship is going to function properly. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Play you on a line. Blah, blah. Blah, blah, kill. 
The blah blah joke they used in the beginning too when they were little kids. Oh, bones and cereal. It's trying to motivate him. Hmm. Oh, wait, I could have moved during all that, huh? I think, right? Because then he's back in his office. Yeah. Okay, so I got to do that again and then run to his room and get the map. Then I could launch Murray from the cannon. So I had to use it twice Ugh. this time. Oh well. Say la vie. I got so caught up in the dialogue, I did not. I'll trigger the scene again. That the dialogue changes, that's impressive. I brush threep wood. Out loud. If a ship is going to function properly. And now I can move with it zooming out. Got it. So it's got kind of a timer. This is a good uh, technique in adventure games. It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. Okay, I need to swap it out with something, I think. Uh, I swap it out with this. Yeah. Uh, this isn't remotely like a map. He'd notice it right away. Something like a map I need. Onboarding pamphlet. Ah, map to the mop tree. A map's a map. I don't think he'll spot the difference. Now I just need to get Madison a skull, and we'll be good to go. And that part we already did. So, or we got to launch it. So, if we look at the map, does it show me? Map to the secret? Begin your, I mean, we're not at Monkey Island yet, but this is good to know. Begin your search at the Redberry Bush. Follow the stone monkey hand. Stick to the path by the wooden chicken. Sneak past the bees and heed the sign. X marks the spot. It's where the secret to Monkey Island is. And what is the secret? That's the big question. I think it'll have to be something disappointing. Disappointing or obvious. Like, it has to be something ironic. Yeah, I think out of all the, the character designs and stuff, uh, Elaine, I mean, Guybrush is good. Elaine, I like the little smirk she has, but Litchox, I think, is, is probably my favorite out of the main um, few characters there. Now we got Murray as a cannonball. We get to see him fly to the other ship. All squished. Ooh, we get some of that LeChuck uh, green stuff. She's underway. All hands, stand by to make sail. It's a nice little punching hand animation. Days pass. We're nearly there, me hearties. I see. The fabled shores of fabled Monkey Island. Captain Madison and her associates mm. will have to be dealt with, of course. But our top priority is... The secret. Got it. <laughs> so everyone else isn't crazy about the secret. Everyone loves their grog. <laughs> oh, that's clever. He, he threw the eye thing off him. Now people can see him. That's like Guybrush. Very much like Guybrush to screw up. Right near the end. So we got some choices here. Let's say I think one of us is more clever than the other. Right up to the part where I took off the eye patch. Sorry, but I needed a ride. Sorry, but I, needed a ride. I think I always like to think it was a sheepish. Uh oh. Nice. Are they gonna fight? I 
Ah, so the insult sword fighting against the check himself. That's really cool. Uh, this is a thing they had in the very first game. Um, you move like a wounded hippopotamus. I'm going to skewer you like a pig on a spit. You're as rusty as that butter knife you call a sword. Let's make this quick. I got an appointment with a secret. That last one is no fun. I think uh, I'm going to skewer you like a pig on a spit. Sounds good to me. I'm going to skewer you like a pig on a spit. You will fight more like a cook than a swordsman. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, you should come back. Why don't you try again? You're all bluster and no luster. You're all fit flavor and no saber. You're all buttress and no cutlass. You're all swagger and no dagger. I like that last one. Whoa! He just punches him in the nose. Hey, cheating! I won that round. Also, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use the swords when we do this. You don't seem to know how to use a sword. I can't decide if you're waving that thing like a feather duster or more like a mop. Hey, I know that, that might be an insult from the first game, right? What comeback would you use for waving it like a feather duster or like It's good animation on the kid. More like a feather duster and more like a mop. So what he's gonna say what the he thinks the answer is, like a conductor's baton. It's waving goodbye. Either way I'll clean the floor with you. I think of that last one. I thought too. I can't decide if you're waving your sword like a feather duster or more like a mop. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. Too late to start doing your job now, Swabby. Hey, you're laying a comeback on my comeback? <laughs> That's got to be <laughs> clever. Cool. You really should keep up on the latest trends. Hi, Reapwood. Oh, wow. oh. My sword drops straight down like a while like AOD cartoon. Okay, part three, Return to Monkey Island. I thought this would be later in the game. I thought it would be at the very end, like in the first one. Good thing I can still hold my breath for ten minutes. More or less. Is so it more, or is it less? <laughs> what? You say you can hold your breath for ten minutes, but then sometimes you say eight. I'm trying to point out, out the inconsistencies from the prime. kid. Which one is it? Well, my prime, I could do ten minutes, no problem. Are He's no longer in his prime. prime. Eight minutes. Now let me get back to it before the eight minutes runs out. It's very meta. Um, and we saw this eight-minute timer before when we were looking on the rudder. There's no way I could ever pass this. If we look at the checklist, just from curious, follow the map to Secret of Monkey Island, find the Monkey Island, a Secret of Monkey Island, and relive the glory days. So those have been on the checklist since the beginning. And that's very nice, the distortion of the water, right? Just like in real water. Monkey Island... Six minute walk. Two minutes later. Why do two minutes later, I wonder? Can I showing off the artwork? You can see the big hand. Whoop. Hold on, I clicked off the screen. Two minutes later. Oh, uh-oh, we must be getting near the end here. Just in time. Wow. Uh-oh. Uh, Looks like he threw uh, stuff out of his pocket. Hello, Monkey Island. It's me, Guybrush. Did you miss me? Your secret will be mine. Ten minutes. Tops. I just need to take a look at the map I stole from LeChuck. Did he empty it from his pockets? Nope. Oh. Aww. It's a heart with L and E someone romantically carved into the tree. I wonder who it could be, because... L and E. I wonder who that is. They must be so in love. Could it be Elaine and someone else, maybe? It's possible. It doesn't have to be Elaine. I'm going to see if there's some items we can get here on the beach. Is that Murray? Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the cannon. Oh, it's just a creepy skull. I'll keep this for my Shakespeare summer stock. Worth reference to Hamlet. Alas, poor Eurek, I knew him well. 
uh, a speech that was among other things made fun of in a lot of those uh, old Looney Tune cartoons. By a lot of, I probably just mean one or two. Kind of relaxing vibes on the island. I don't remember the music on Monkey Island from uh, the first game, to be honest. Um, and let's go back and look at that good old map, right? Begin your search at the Red Berry Bush. Okay. Let's save it. Even though the autosave in this game is pretty good. Ah, overhead map of Monkey Island already. Okay. And now we see here, or, uh, gaze at the volcano. We got some choices here, right? Volcano, beach, volcano, the view, giant monkey head. But we're going to start with the bush. Big hand. Could it be a stone monkey? It's a big stone monkey part. Stone monkey part. I think about what part I might find next. Wonder if you maybe have to somehow pick up and combine these parts or, or something. Explore onward. Oh, okay. There is the berries right there. I don't eat trail berries. Not after what happened last time, and the time before that. <laughs> Probably some digestion problems. Let's look at the map to the secret. Begin your search at the red berry bush. Follow the stone monkey hand. Okay. The hand is here, so we're going to explore it this way. Very interesting. Stick to the path by the wooden chicken. And there is a wooden chicken right there. Well, I would have carved a pulley in the middle, but that's just me. Yeah, so the first game you get a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle and you use it to sort of, uh, as a zip line to, to get over to um, one of the characters. I think it's a meat hook. It's running a little fast. Okay. Take the path of the chicken. Now we're here. Oh, that says secret on a sign. Maybe it's a trap. That could be. What does the real, what does the list say? Nope, that's the wrong thing. I'm at the map. Sneak past the bees and heed the sign. The sign, the one saying uh, secret. It's a busy beehive. And uh, a quaint birdhouse. I didn't know the island was zoned for housing. Oh, but that's a little... Yeah, that's quite silly. Any puzzles with the bees? I, I doubt it, huh? I mean, that's not much of a... I'm excited here. I'm also skeptical it's going to be the real secret or not, because I've been curious to see what this is the whole time since the very first game, but they don't tell you. And I was, um, like, 12 when I played that. I'm, like, 40 now, so... Let's see. Free shovel. This looks like a damn trap to me. Yeah, X marks the spot. Hmm. Yes, knew it. It's hanging upside down. Cannibals, maybe? Frog? Oh, root beer. Okay, the trap is for LeChuck. That explained the root beer. Oh, the trap is for LeChuck. Because you killed him with root beer in the first one. secrets. But I guess we could torture him anyway. Wait. Maybe I can help. No torture necessary. Yeah, Guybrush always wants to save his skin. His theme song catchphrase or his favorite food. Are they trying to find his like computer password or something? It's very specific. How about the first two notes of his theme song? Not enough. Ugh, this is going nowhere. We wouldn't even be in this bind if you'd let me kill him on melee. 
Don't start with me, Lila. Remember, so they're arguing. Intercepted the real map on its way to LeChuck in the first place. That's a blank Ooh. piece of paper. It's encrypted. I can <laughs> reveal it with a dark magic spell, but I have to have LeChuck's personal information. That's right. That is a password yes. joke. That's funny. Spell, we have to play his music, say his catchphrase, and eat his favorite food. You could just easy on the island, right? On the island. To face directly. This trap was supposed to catch him off guard so we could get the information out of him. Now we gotta find the stuff for them. Let's see. Okay. We could ask his crew about all that stuff? We thought of that. But they are on the ship, and it's enchanted to be unboardable. Only so it's all going to be... Can get on it. I'm not sure I was ever technically fired. I mean, I did wind up at the bottom of the ocean, but no one ever said the words, you're fired. You can get on the ship? Probably. I mean, definitely. Yes. Fine. Here's the deal. You find out what we need to know. We decode the map and we split the secret four ways. Is the secret but something you can split? I won't make it again, in or out. You don't have any choice. What are the alternatives? We kill you. They have to accept. No way! You teamed up with Captain Madison? Well, they were planning to double cross me, of course. My only option was to do it first. Double cross them before they could double cross me. Triple cross. Dad. I'd get them what they needed to work the spell on the map, and then I'd find a way to steal it. Cool. Remember, it's his theme music, catchphrase, and favorite food. We're chumps with the big monkey head if you need anything. All right. Actually, there is one thing. Of course they left. Look here to the to-do list. Sneak back on the ship, double cross Captain Madison. Return the check secret to Captain Madison, which they said are all on the ship. Trek back to the beach. Save the game and we'll see what to do here. Is that Murray again? Murray? Is that you? Sorry about getting you mixed up in this. Oh, it's just a weird looking skull. I'll keep this for no reason. It's some driftwood that washed up on the beach. I can relate. Return to the the Chuck's needlessly over what does it say? Overstated ship? And with the timer gag. In the original game, you could die underwater if you like waited a whole like eleven minutes. This whole tremendous ship is kind of a floating midlife crisis. Murray, is that you? I hope this doesn't affect our. Doesn't look like Murray. Oh, it's just a soaked skull. I'll keep this for my Skull Club meetup. Well, there must be a puzzle with all those skulls. Let's climb up the chain. Oh, I, I should have put on the um, eye patch. Let's see. Yeah, that zoom in, zoom out effect with the engine works pretty well. A scary looking fish. So if I go. Ah, but I don't have the eye patch anymore. Right. Got it. It's a skull I found. Just some old skull. Okay. I can climb over the railing. Let's see, how am I going to get caught? You. Uh, hi. You're not welcome on this ship, Threepwood. Uh oh. Mm. So I should push you down. Making a. Maybe I have to make a. a disguise or something. Because I don't have the original eye patch anymore. But I want to see if I can get in another way or if each way they're just going to kick me off, right? 
porthole is what you made all uh, greasy. Ah, you cannot get in that way. Okay. On the rudder, is that guy still stuck in there? He is. See you later. Don't wait. Oh, only joking. Hang about. Maybe you can give me a hand. I'm a bit stuck. Do you happen to know the Chuck's catchphrase? Right. Oh, whenever he's yelling, I get too distracted counting his teeth to pay attention. Got me in trouble a few times. Did I see you stuff a notebook into your shirt? There's nothing you need to know about. Go away. What's in the notebook? Is it a diary? Look, it, it, it's poems, all right? <laughs> Zombie pirate poems. Zombie pirate poems. Finished. I've got some problems to work out with them still. Okay. Does he know the food? Know Probably not. Food. I've got better things to do than watch that guy eat. Got the last one. Does he have a I theme song? The I was just doing my job. Breaking in a new swap. That's not bad. Anyway. Do you know if LeChuck has a theme song? Does the screaming of his enemies count? I doubt it. Then no. All right. Maybe I could help you with your poetry? I've dangled a metaphor or two in my day. Well, I am stuck in a few places. For instance, what rhymes with worms? Germs, words, squirms, pachyderms, septicemia, squirms. Also need an idea for something that grows. Something that grows. Resentment. Resentment. I think that fits. How about a rhyme for black? Orange. Yuck. Yeah. Right. Uh, of course. Very nice. Thanks a lot. Uh, I was a bit underwater there, but I think at least I can call the first volume wrapped up then. many fond, greasy memories. Threepwood, not so sneaky without your magic disguise, are you? She's right. Okay, so we gotta go back in the island, clearly, and find something. Some kind of a disguise. And, uh, the guy in the rudder didn't know any of those three things we need to know. Which makes sense. I don't think they would have made it that easy. We got some hidden stuff. Squid. I'm not even a fan of live squid. Mm -hmm. Monkey head to the beach. Bush. Mighty volcano. Ah, oh, you can just gaze at it. You can't go to it. Okay. Up to see the view. Oh, that's that was in the first game too. Yeah. Amazing. A lot of skulls. Is that you? I probably should have left you in your crate. Oh, it's just a sea salt encrusted skull. I'll keep this in case I ever take up skull juggling. That's like six Sorry? skulls. That it's a lot. Sorry about flattening you. Oh, it's just a spooky skull. I'll keep this for Halloween. The rocks around here are treacherous. I have to be careful not to stub my toe. Hmm. Well, the age-old battle of rock versus hull only ever ends one way. Ugh. This really puts the wreck in shipwreck. Ugh. This really puts the wreck in shipwreck. My sympathies to the unlucky captain. Ugh. This really puts the wreck in shipwreck. My sympathies to the unlucky captain. A lot of plaques, of course, to read. It says the sea monkey. Hey, this is my old ship from Monkey Island 1. Oh. Wow. He referred to it as Monkey Island 1. Oh, I feel like this is a good omen. Uh, you 
Either that or this forgotten wreck of a ship discarded on the beach is highly symbolic. It's also describing Guybrush himself, right? Kind of a forgotten character. It's been a while since he's had a new game. I'd love to get the old girl running again. It'd be a great summer project. All right. What's the old it's sign say? The years, but it still says private property. And here are the nice little insects in the background. Is that Murray? Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the things I said to you. Oh, it's just a rancid skull. I'll keep this for the voodoo lady. Get an eavesdrop. Uh, remind me again when we get rid of three poor dead. Right, they want to. Memory of a gnat with a concussion. Uh, I'm just looking forward to it. That's all. Once we find the secret, you can have him. Ha! They won't get the chance. As soon as the map is visible, I'm grabbing it and getting out of here. Well, that's three against one. That's not good odds for him. Even if he had Murray, that'd be like three against one and a half. Hey, partner. Someone three has bottles. a nice collection of colored glass bottles. Someone has a nice collection of colored glass bottles. Three wood. I might have known you'd be right Here's Murray. This. It's just your kind of swamp. Yours too, it seems. I do like the moral black areas. <laughs> Grab the bone. Someone has a nice collection of colored glass bottles. What do we have here if we look at the to-do list? Can't get his secrets unless we're on the ship, probably. So we gotta find a way to sneak back. Save again, just because I'm OCD about that stuff. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? Let's go around. So we got six things here and six skulls. So what order do they go on? I don't know. Try to stick them around here. The bone. Hmm. I think it needs to be in the order of the music scales, like the old uh, Sound of Music song. Do a deer, a female deer. Dorothy, Lance. Oh, that's funny. Solomon. Regina, Murray. Uh... Okay. So remove Dorothy. Let's remove them all and then replace them based on the order. I mean, this is assuming you know music, I guess, for this puzzle. Do, Ray, Ray, a touch of golden sun, me a name I call myself. Uh, what? Yeah, so that's that's Do, Ray, me, Fa, on right to run, so a needle pulling thread. Da, 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 so tea a drink of jam and bread yeah we'll bring us back to go 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 all right so now if i do it in order maybe i'll get some disguise i have no idea T. 
see. Hmm. So nothing happened. Interesting. How was your trip to Monkey Island? Damn. People kept dropping me into cauldrons of glop for some reason. But I'll have my revenge on all of them. Where he has to have his revenge. What's this? Do. Me. Fa. Da 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 da. So. Da da da. Me. Fa. Solarity. La salty. So, a needle and a thread, blah. I'm missing something here. Met with them. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? Having trouble. Ran into some trouble boarding the ship. Is it the enchantment keeping you off? Good news. We get to kill him after I. <laughs> no, that's not it. I lost my eye patch disguise, so the crew knows it's me, and they won't let me back on. You need to look like one of them. I know a good spell. Oh, okay. I'll need a secret to build it on. Get me a physical object from one of the crew. Something they would keep hidden from the others. Okay. Let's see what I can come up with. Physical object from one of the crew they would keep hidden. Oh, you know what? That would be the, uh... That would be that poem book. Pompous ship, that's what it says. I can talk to him and get his little poem book and then uh, do a spell. Maybe he'll turn into a ghost again. Who knows? Thinking thoughts I really ought not. Hey, what do you want? Now that they're finished, would you show me your poem? Uh, so you can steal them? Oh, I don't think so. Hmm. So we can't do that. What else? Hey, what do you want? The new swab you mentioned. What was he like? Rising star? Diamond in the rough? He's trying to get compliments. I don't think he knows one end of the mop from the other. Also, he come down here, stole a knife I was keeping in my back, and left me stuck. Didn't even try to help. That's right, he doesn't recognize him because he's not in the zombie outfit. Maybe if you'd been nicer to that swab, he'd have helped you. Not him. Sometimes you can just tell about people. Did you ever think maybe you deserve to be a little steam issues? You're a cruel bully with self esteem issues. No, now that they're finished, would you show me your poem? Uh, so you can steal them. Oh, I don't think so. Uh, let's see. Is a knife on him, maybe? Bone. Cracker? Oh, maybe he wants the pen. No. E. Double monocle. Does the knife on him, can we? No. Hmm. So what do we have with... I can't either talk to Gullet or got something he wants to hide. Distract him with something. Painting. I think I need to go and uh, explore the island some more.
in the ocean. Just keeps on clicking outside of there. Up to the shore. Let's see, it kind of. Oh, now this one says needlessly overstated. The other one said pompous. Same thing, I guess. Been to a lot of these. Did we go to this beach? I don't think so. Seagull. I see the foreground there. Oh, that's where he came off with the LNE thing. Got it. Hmm. The monkey head. What if the dark magic for that'll make him look really different? Hey, nice disguise. Partner. Did you bring something secret from one of the crew? Remind me what you need to make a disguise. Get me a physical object from one of the crew. Something they would keep hidden. It can be a others. physical object. I mean, it has to be that. But what do I do with it? Ooh. Lila's disguise making potions. When he stops when you hit someone else, is the key to hit it so they're vibrating still and they all gotta vibrate in order? If I tried this, he's vibrating. That just stops it. I wonder if it's just a quirk when you hit him. Does the same thing. Mm, where do we go? Where do we go? Okay. Bit stuck. Now I want to use the hint guide again. I don't want to do too much of a crutch, though. He who lives by the walkthrough dies by the Bye. walkthrough, as someone okay. told me a long time ago.
because there's more options I missed talking to uh, him. Finished, would you show me your poems? Uh, so you can steal them? Oh, I don't think so. Mm. Wait a second. Whoops. It's a lot of dialogue they're doing. They keep randomizing what's up there. Oh, what is this? Shudders of some other rudder. Back to the surface. Can't get what he wants. Two of a bone. Do a little hint. Yes, yeah, so I'm on the right path. I've got no book. Perhaps you'd want it published. Oh. Hmm. Business card. That's a deep cut because it's from the beginning. I'm a little inconvenienced at the moment, you know, stuck on the rudder and all that. Maybe you could show my work to your editor friend. Right. Could have thought that. Oh well. Well, that's what it's there for. Maybe this will be the only one I'll use on the Act Three. Back and see what happens. The way he kind of bounces across is pretty cute, right there. Wow, these are really bad poems. I see why go. Hey, partner. Gullet was keeping this under wraps. Can you use it to make a disguise? Slimy worms that Riley squirm. I can see why someone would want to keep this a secret. It's dribble. It's perfect. When it remembered the rhyme I picked. It's doing the dark magic. Instead of the voodoo stuff. It was like I know that a joke if I knew Latin. Use the first poem to activate the disguise, and the last one to be yourself again. Fantastic. Got it. Thanks. Keep us looped in on your progress. Yep, we'll do. See ya, partner.
Uh oh, meanwhile. This can't be right. Isn't that a mop tree? I didn't realize you were on a mop quest. <laughs> since my college days. And then I was just <laughs> experimenting. He's trying That's to look for it. Right now. Someone messed up, and I think I know who. Wally. Oh, oh, the right, because he's the map guy. Poor Wally. So here, let's use this Sweaty worms that Riley squirm. Ideas fill my head. The poems flow as resentment grows. Yeah. Creatively undead. So now he looks a little bit like a. Uh, Permission to come aboard? Gully. It's like gullet, right? Lost. Uh, it'll take more than a bath to get rid of old gullet. Worth a try on several levels, though. Your voice sounds funny. Uh, uh oh. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> still a few quarts of seawater in the lungs, I guess. I guess. Anyway, welcome back to the ship. Do me a favor and guard this spot until the Chuck and Iron Rose get back. I've almost finished the piece I was working on, and I want to get back to it. He's working on the Chuck's theme song. I promise I'll give it my utmost attention. I won't let you down. What? Nothing. You just seem different. Don't let anybody on board or I'll stab you again. This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid ink. <laughs> Still reading the book. Wait a little bit more here. Hey, Bob. Hey, Gullet. You smell cleaner than usual. Thanks. Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? I'm a trying to be more like him. Well, then you should change your catchphrase every few minutes. I have no idea how he keeps track. Mm -hmm. Do you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? No, but Putra probably does. Seeing as how she makes sense, yeah. Him. Right. Does LeChuck have a theme song? I'm planning a surprise. Surprising LeChuck doesn't sound like a good idea. But he did say something recently about having a theme composed. I don't know if it was ever finished. See ya. It's nice they've mostly kept continuity with the voices from the uh, McGowan special editions. Into the ship. Start by asking Putra. Crocodile Somehow meat. It's funny. Back. Can I fix you something to eat? I'll have whatever LeChuck's having. LeChuck's on the island looking for the big secret. You cook for LeChuck. Does he have a favorite dish? Don't tease me by trying to take an interest. <laughs> you never had the slightest appreciation for my talents. You think I just sling hash? Bit of a chip on her. You're the best hash shoulder I've ever known. There, you just proved it. Get out of my galley. Okay, I'm going. Go back. What was that lovely meal I cleaned up in LeChuck's cabin last night? You're just teasing me. You've never had the slightest appreciation so the same for my talents. Thing as you before. Think just... Ah, best chef. You're the Best chef I've ever known. Chef? You called me chef? In yep. all the years you've known me, you've never done that before. I don't know what happened while you were overboard, but I like this change in you. Uh, what was it you wanted to know about? LeChuck's favorite food. Well, yeah. that's easy. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Daisy <laughs> sauce? I don't blame me. It's not my favorite food. Are we almost to the part about the triple cross? Not quite. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Ah, a classic. All right. What's 
kind of thing that Chuck always says. It's sort of his catchphrase. You're a terrible cook, Putra. Well, I, I was thinking more of something he'd use in all kinds of situations. Hmm. Then I've got no idea. Hey. Well, I've got work to do. Right. Ew, that's good detail. That uh, you can see the skin is chewed away at most of the leg. How's the score coming along? The music's done. I'm just decorating it now. Go back and guard the ship like I told you. We look on the list. Oh, you have to find as we learned what the food is. It's probably in his office then, huh? It's the Chuck's personal diary. I wouldn't have pegged him as the type for self-reflection. Take the veil. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. Okay. Does the diary have the catchphrase? That's funny, he's gonna write in every day, 5th of June. Catchphrase, plunder the seven cutlasses. He's talking about more catchphrases, though. By my bristling beard. Brandish the seven cutlasses. It's a lot of text. Threepwood's Bane. It's not a bad one. Doozy of my insult. That's the last catchphrase. Going back to the one he had on the 17th. Randish the seven cutlasses. Okay. Favorite food was Daisy stuff. I guess it's that we get them checked off and return the secrets. And the theme song. How do we get the theme song? How's the score coming along? The music's done. I'm just decorating it now. Go back and guard the ship like I told you. It's a pen with there, maybe? Where Flan is asleep. Made it at the island. Hey, I can see all the way to the giant monkey head. Madison, Lila, and Trent are all talking. They look happy. Planning what to do when they're finished with me, no doubt. Well, I'll have the last laugh. Ha! Oh, I bet you I ring the bell maybe and go and get her music. Schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the Chuck shouting. One bell, voting hour. What's going on? I don't like being interrupted. I don't know. Someone rang the bell. Okay. It's the theme music Flair was working on. A jaunty little tune like this would be great at parties. Will it be the same as LeTrex's actual theme song, though? I don't know. I'm not waiting around any longer. I've got work to do. A waste of time. Hope my suit didn't burn. Okay. Now we go back to the island and talk to him.
So we've had three disguises for Guybrush so far. Try the password thing to get past the encrypted uh, secret. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? Yeah. I know all of LeChuck's secrets. Let's do this thing. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to play LeChuck's theme music. You're the one who knows how it goes, so you're in charge. Your instrument is over there. What who you're calling an instrument? I say. Do my sheet music. Do do mi sol fa fa re. Do do mi sol fa fa re. Okay. Do do mi sol. I was right about the vibrating. Fa fa re. Yeah, that's his theme music. Next step. Madison, let's have the map. Looks nervous. What's gonna happen here? Quis nostra fugiat nulla tempor. Labores nisi ex comedo consequat. Quick, say the Chuck's catchphrase. Oh, the actual words, is it? That's like plunder. The seven, seven cutlasses. That one, right? Now, eat Lechuk's favorite food. Eat it? I thought I just had to know what it was. No. When we first talked about this, I said we'd have to eat it. You didn't bring any? Uh, no. Ugh, fine. Go and get some of whatever it is, and we'll try it again. Is that dead squid? Oh, I'd love to get the old girl running again. It'd be a great summer project. That was here. Fan of live squid. I mentioned it was a fan of live squid. It's some driftwood that washed up on the beach. I can relate. that Riley squirmed. Is it automatically smart? <laughs> Ask for some of the food, maybe? Can you make me some tentacles with daisy sauce? Sorry, I'm all out of the main ingredient. Well, 
I've got work to do. Right. Backtrack. A lot of backtracking, but that's part of the genre. By double clicking, you can go fast. Wow, which is something the game teaches you in the beginning in, in the tutorial with the race. Come to think of it. Nope, nope, nope. Well, isn't it the squid? I'm not even a fan of live squid. I think this is a good uh, stopping point. If you had fun watching me play through Return of Monkey Island, plan to do more um, tomorrow and pick at it every day, um, ideally until I beat it. Uh, hopefully that'll be soon, and then I'll be doing videos and stuff about my reactions to the ending and so forth. So, hope you liked what you saw. If, if you do, uh, please give it a follow. And I will catch you on here next time doing some uh, Monkey Island nonsense.